Hi, I'm Jack Shelley and welcome to this week's episode of Jack Shelley Gardener. Now in today's episode I'm going to be doing something slightly different and it doesn't involve vegetables or fruit growing. In this week's episode I'm going to be showing you how to plant up some lily tree bulbs. Now these, as far as I'm aware, you can only get from Thompson & Morgan currently and what they are is they're a giant, really tall lily which they've developed so that you don't have to bend down to smell them, get all the pollen on your clothes. They produce massive, great flowers and in two years can get to around 10 feet tall. So they're really quite something. Now I thought I'm going to give these a go um, and I have three of the bulbs here. This is Starburst um, which is a really lovely colour of tree lily and I'm going to be planting two in this container. They want to be planted about 15 centimetres apart from one another so I am going to have one spare bulb which I'm going to use elsewhere and they want to be planted about three times the depth of the bulb so if that's how high the bulb is you want to go three times below that. So they're going to be quite low down in this container because of their size and how quickly they grow that's not going to be a problem at all. Now, in order to plant your lily trees properly, get a decent sized container. They can be grown on the patio. One of these containers, about 40 centimeters, is perfect. That's what I'm gonna be using. They can also be planted in the ground in mixed herbaceous borders, and the bulbs themselves are fully hardy, so you don't even have to lift them in the winter. In terms of the compost needed to be used, if you've got planting them in beds and borders, generally they're okay. Make sure that they're well fed, and enrich the soil first with some compost before you plant them. If you're planting them in a container, make sure you have have a nice really rich fertile compost a loam based compost would be perfect but I've got this compost here which is enriched with seaweed it's Jack's magic compost and I'm going to fill the container up to the planting depth of the bulb and then cover them over and that should bring it roughly to an inch below the top of the surface of the pot here so let's get started so this is my container here um, it's as I said 40 centimeters and has a nice depth to it as well which should be perfect for planting these bulbs now if I just show you the top of the container is here and it needs to be about an inch below the top of the pot now here's our first look at some of the tree lily bulbs they're actually quite big in size straight away anyway um, and there's some lovely new buds coming on that are going to provide the flowers for this year so if you're planting them three times the depth of the bulb it wants to start about there so that's one two three so as I said they're going to be quite low down in the container but that's not a problem so I'm going to start filling the container up now just one thing to be aware of if you have bought a container is make sure there are drainage holes at the bottom this one currently doesn't have any so before I start filling it up with some compost I'm going to punch a few holes in here and in the center and then get planting So the next thing to actually do is to place the bulbs in the container. I'm going to put one there and one there, like that. As you can see, they are shooting quite nicely already. And then I'm just going to fill it up to, as I said, just below an inch of the surface of the container. And then that'll get them off to a really fantastic start. This compost is fairly moist, um, so I'm not going to water them at the moment. I might just give them a little drink in the morning if the weather's still warm and dry, but otherwise they should be okay for the moment. You don't want to be overwatering them or damaging the crown, getting water in the crown. That's just going to cause the bulbs to rot away. So a nice decent covering of soil on the top. Let them grow a little bit first. If it's very dry, give them a quick water in and then they'll be off. And it really is as simple as that. Simple to plant, simple to grow, and yet will provide a huge amount of colour and a really unusual variety of lily. I'm really looking forward to seeing how these develop. In terms of positioning in the garden, place them in a nice sunny spot, ideally sheltered from any winds because they are quite tall, but they do have strong stems. I've got a place just over there in the corner which gets a lot of sun, but is also protected because of the wall and then they should put on a huge amount of lush green growth i mean they're not going to be doing anything just yet we're only mid-march at the moment but they will start to shoot out lots of lush foliage and then the big flowers that we're all used to and know and love from lilies as i said they don't necessarily need watering in straight away especially if the compost that you've planted them in is moist already I will give these a little bit of a drink because in hindsight this is looking a little bit dry so I will give them a quick drink and the weather forecast is for it to be dry for the rest of the week. 
and position them where you want to grow and then just leave them to it. Later on in the season I'll show you the progress on how these are doing and also show you what feed I'm going to be using to hopefully boost them up to their maximum potential. As always thank you for tuning in, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I'll be back down the allotment and working on my vegetable and fruit plants next time. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Jack Shilley and also like my Facebook page Jack Shilley Gardener. Thanks for watching.